Welcome back to the channel, Manny B Investing in BI, and I wanted to share some news. CEO of FTX, Sam Bankman Fried, has been arrested in the Bahamas. Uh, FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried arrested in the Bahamas after U.S. files criminal charges. We've got the uh, the statement here from the Ministry of Legal Affairs and the from the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Let's take a look at the statement from the Attorney General on December 12th, the Office of the Attorney General of the Bahamas is announcing the arrest of the Royal Bahamas Police Force of Sam Bankman Freed, uh, AKA SBF, a former CEO of FTX. SBF's arrest followed receipt of formal notification from the United States that it has filed criminal charges against SBF and is likely to request his extradition. As a result, of the notifications received and the material provided therewith, it was deemed appropriate for the Attorney General to seek SBF's arrest and hold him in custody pursuant to our nation's Extradition Act. As such time as the formal request for extradition is made, the Bahamas intends to process it promptly pursuant to Bohemian, Bahamian law and its treaty obligations with the United States. Responding to SBF's arrest, Prime Minister Davis stated, the Bahamas and the United States have a shared interest in holding accountable all individuals associated with FTX who may have betrayed the public's trust and broken the law. While the United States is pursuing criminal charges against SBF individually, the Bahamas will continue its own regulatory and criminal investigation into the collapse of FTX with the continued cooperation of its law enforcement and regulatory partners in the United St States and elsewhere. So it looks like you know, things have changed. People were were talking about SPS is going to get away with this. Um, and then when I knew when I noticed that he had there was some news that broke earlier that he was he was slated to speak in front of Congress. And I'm like, why is he even getting the opportunity to speak in front of Congress? He should be in jail. He committed a criminal act of financial variety. This isn't something that you go and and take a take an invite to Congress and then you go speak and talk to them about what happened. You need to be arrested. They don't do this for anyone else. They don't do this with any other crime. If you commit a crime, you get arrested, you go to jail. You don't go speak to Congress first. So I thought that that was weird. Uh, I thought that that Democrats were going to try to put, put up a cover for him. They still might try to um, FTX and its collapse and its money laundering, uh, it's wide and it's very political in the United States and it heavily involves the Democratic Party. Uh, so I figured that since they're in power, they wanted to try to finagle and pull some kind of maneuver and save this guy. But it looks like he's been formally charged and formally arrested and is waiting uh, for a, an extradition request from the United States. Uh, if this is a legitimate uh, statement from the AG of the Bahamas, but let's take a look and see what CNBC has to say. Um, Damian Williams, U.S. Attorney for the South District of New York, said on Twitter. Oh, we got a tweet. Let's take a look. USA Damian Williams. Uh, earlier this evening, Bohemian arrested Sam, Samuel Bankman Freed at the request of the United States government. So this was a request for the U.S. government to arrest this guy. Uh, based on the sealed indictment filed by SD New York. Sealed indictments. We don't like those. We expect to move to unseal the indictment. In the morning, and we'll have more to say at that time. Awesome. So we'll get that information tomorrow morning. I don't like sealed indictments. Let's stop doing that stuff. Um, this is good. This should have happened a long time ago. Uh, let's hope that there wasn't any funny business going on and that they were actually getting all their ducks in a row, making sure that they were going to nail this and get this the right way. And it looks like Mr. Sam is, is, is trending here. His arrest... Um, it's interesting. I listened to him talk to the unusual whales, I think on Twitter this morning, he was dodging questions. He was going, uh, um, uh, 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 and then the ending of that call was really weird. Um, if you got to hear it, he was just like, oh, um, he, they, somebody asked him a, a, a question, a hot question, hot take question, and he didn't answer it. 
And then he said, oh, I have to go. And he's like, um, and then they were like, can you just answer it real quick? Some, something to that effect. And he was like, uh, well, um, I, I ran out of time. I have to be at a meeting someplace and um, I'm just going to do that right now. And then he disconnects. And it's like the way that he, just the way that he does stuff, the way that he says things, it's always just super shady and weird. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to these spaces where he's speaking and listening to him. I think that when you have somebody that has committed a crime and they're willing to go on television, they're willing to go to Twitter spaces and talk about the crime, I'm all ears because anybody that knows anything about any criminal uh, justice system anywhere on this planet knows that if you are a suspect, if you are, are, are involved in anything, shut your mouth, listen to your lawyer, let your lawyer speak for you. This guy has done the opposite. Very weird. Um, Caroline has zipped her lips um, and has been quiet. He's been running his mouth the whole time. So this is going to be very interesting. Let's take a look at the price of FTX's token, FTT right now. And it's it's down even more. It's down even more, 2.2% for the day. Um, let's take a look at the box here. It actually has been up 14% in 14 and 6 in the last 7. But it's down big, man. It's It's just sliding and sliding and sliding. And I think it's just going to get lower and lower and lower until it's nothing, until it is absolutely nothing. I don't even know if it's functioning, if it's a functioning uh, token, if there's any kind of blockchain or anything. Uh, it might be an Ethereum token. Who knows? I don't really know much about it. It doesn't look to be. Yeah, it's a, it says Ethereum ecosystem, so it could be a, an Ethereum token in that case. I, don't, I mean, I don't even really know what its use case is. Clearly, it's not a governance token because they were centralized and just doing whatever the hell they wanted to do. So there's no governance involved in FTX. Uh, there never never was there, or I doubt there ever will be. Um, but this is, this is good news in my opinion. Uh, I can't wait for the indictment to get unsealed tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this looks like they're going over the statement. But this is, this is good stuff. Uh, this dude completely misappropriated people's money, uh, did a lot of money laundering, uh, bought off crypto media, bought off mainstream media, bought off uh, professional sports teams, professional sports players, uh, professional sports uh, executives. His, his criminality is stretching far and wide through the world, and he used other people's money to do it. It was a massive Ponzi scheme. He took people's money and deposited them into his own personal account, which he then used to give loans to individuals and firms that he both owned or had close ties to for them to do whatever they wanted with. Uh, all that money got lost or spent on things that don't make any sense, like real estate in the Bahamas. I'm sure that's why the Bahamas is doing an investigation, because I'm sure there's tons of real estate fraud going on. Uh, real estate that was purchased with ill-gotten uh, funds. I'm sure people are going to be getting sued. I'm sure that the people in the Bahamas are going to have to face um, the, the the repercussions for that because, yeah, those, those properties are going to have to be returned or seized. I'm sure that's going to hurt taxpayers. I'm sure taxpayers um, in the government down there it, it is going to feel some kind of burn from that. So they're involved Obviously, we'll see what the what the United States uh, Department of Justice is going to do with this. Uh, who knows with all of the political corruption going on these days, if this will turn into what we hope it should turn into. Uh, but, you know, that's that's that remains to be seen. So thank you again for checking out the channel. Make sure you hit that like, hit the share, subscribe and jump in the comment section. And let me know what you think. See you on the next one. Peace.